Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back. Um, so, as you know, I did the unboxing of the Cooler H20 620. And um, I'm going to run you through as a brief kind of setup. It's not going to be a rough, uh, an exact kind of setup video, purely for the fact that it was quite a bit of hassle for me to basically install this. Not because of the cooler, but because of my case. Right, um, first of all, the first problem I came across is that the radiator was a little bit too big, so I had to remove the top fan in there, but that doesn't too matter. I'm probably going to try and get a smaller one to fit in there, or maybe even move it over to that side at the top there. Um, and then obviously the second thing was basically just removing the radiator, and it was a little bit of hassle trying to remove basically top radiator simply because the case like that uh, there wasn't a way to kind of get to the screws for the top um, the top uh, what's it called what's it called fan um, but once I got those uh, issues out of the way it was very very easy and simple to install um, literally all you do is you put in the four screws at the back there to put on the new fan which then fits onto the radiator and literally then uh, well basically I'm using an Intel 8 320 uh, 3820 which I believe uses the uh, 2011 socket um, or whichever it says in here. Basically, you get a massive instruction manual, which really does come in handy. Um, but it, basically, I believe the socket for this is called, or not not the socket, but the kind of fittings mounting is called the LGA 2011. Um, there's all different sorts and stuff, etc. I'm not too uh, sure on that, but basically, I just had a quick look, and basically, that that was the one that fitted. Um, so um, what it then does is you get all the different screws and such which fit uh, your specific model. Um, I didn't need to use the back plate for this. Um, it already has a kind of mounting screws, um, for instance. And literally, they just screw in like that. You then uh, basically the actual ring itself. Um, I have one here because uh, there are the AMD ones and the Intel ones do differ. Uh, the, that's the AMD one. Uh, the Intel one is basically just more square shape. Um, and literally, you put that in there. And as you can see, it's got kind of... Um, can I go for a focus? It's got kind of insert bits just there, as you can see just there. So you literally twist it in, and um, you're pretty much good to go, basically. Uh, so basically, you twist it on there, and then you literally just tighten up the screws, and bam, there you go. So it is ridiculously easy uh, installation. But as you can see, guys, look how much room it frees up in there. Uh, this is the monster that I had in there before. And literally, uh, basically, I bought this from PC Specialist, um, this, and it was literally mounted like that. So they're kind of hot. PCB bit from there was blowing straight up there, straight through the fan, and probably not really cooling it too effectively. It, so as you can see, even this, even this big block wasn't doing too great purely for the fact that it was the way it was designed. You can't really put it sideways or anything there. It has to. That's pretty much the only way. You could probably about it that way, but then again, then you'd just be blowing the hot air from the uh, CPU down onto the actual um, graphics cards themselves. So either way, it was either the graphics cards that were going to suffer or the CPU. And uh, luckily enough, Antec very, very kindly sent me this for review, um, so I now will be using this in my PC. Um, I'll probably be doing another external kind of uh, review once I get my um, new rig set up purely for reviews. It'll be like um, an external rig, no casing on it, uh, so you can kind of get a sky view of everything. Um, I'm busy setting up at the moment, just trying to get all the bits and parts together for it, and then I'm going to do a kind of build as well to kind of show you how it all builds up and everything. But as with the radiator, it fits perfectly in there, it frees up so much room, you've got the lovely flexible wiring. Um, I was a little bit concerned when I first turned it on, I was like, uh, water, PC, uh, oh my god, but no, no issues, nothing, it literally, it really does look the part as well guys, it frees up so much room in there, so you can easily get to everything now, the kind of hassle that I had to do to take this big ugly block out, oh, it was, it was pretty much impossible to try and get around to the screws that are around the back and such, it really, really was a huge pain in the ass guys. So um, if if anything, I really would recommend a water cooler. Uh, this thing's pretty cool, but I'm gonna get a full review on it later on, and sh kind of show you the um, the kind of running temps when you're on idle and um, when obviously I'm playing games and such. Um, and I'll kind of hopefully show you the increased, um, or should I say, decreased temperatures that this uh, this water cooler gives out. So uh, hopefully you guys are gonna stick around for the next video, guys, for the full review. And so thanks very much. I hope you've enjoyed this quick kind of video, uh, kind of setup summary, just of a kind of quick how I put it together and everything and there we go guys my airflow is very very much improved now it's getting better and better so I want to say thank you very much guys hope you've enjoyed this video I'll see you guys next time